Alright, so we're going to take a quick little look around of Elementary OS Luna. And of course it's not final yet, so it's not really, uh, this isn't like really like a review or anything like that. Um, basically, I just want to make a quick little video about it because, uh, you know, some people are not too happy with uh, Gnome Shell or Unity or Cinnamon or maybe KDE. This is kind of like bouncing around from different, uh, you know, environments, I guess. And uh, this is another one, you know what I mean? It's another, another option, I guess. But um, anyways... <clears throat> So at first glance, when you look at it, it does look like a you know a lot like a, a themed up I guess a gnome shell with a dock at the bottom. That's uh, you know pretty much it really. Um, on top left, you get this nice little application menu. Um, real simple. Uh, you know, nice big icons, easy to read. Um, it does have drag and drop support, so if you need to drag something down, it should show up. Here it is. And to remove it, you just right click and you know remove. But anyways, <clears throat> it does have a nice little, uh, I guess, GNOME 2-ish uh, categories, you know, layout. So if you want to do that as well. It's even hot cable, so uh, let's get rid of that. So hold down your super key and press spacebar. Pops up. And just press the super key to get rid of it. So, you know what I mean? It's real simple. Easy. And you can also uh, search immediately. Right now it's not working though. It does, that's what I'm talking about, how it's kind of quirky. I'm trying to type terminal, but it's not letting me. T E R. I guess it's T. Yeah, it was working last time. But, anyways, get rid of that. And um, the last thing I show you guys the file manager is called, I think, Pantheon or Pantheon or whatever, which is basically, uh, if you remember Marlin, it's a lot like it, or it's just a fork of it. Or rename, I don't know, but it's it's pretty cool. I like this file manager a lot. Real fast, you know, simple, <clears throat> uh, nice little layouts. You know what I mean for list view or uh, pane view like this for the music, right? There you go. Let's go here, and here, or whatever. You see what I'm talking about? So it's pretty easy to use. Uh, one thing, cool thing I noticed about the, uh, I guess the applications on the desktop. Well, for one thing I gotta mention, there is no desktop. You can't right click or anything like that. You can't highlight. You can't copy stuff over, I guess. You know what I mean? Um, if you look at the shadows, I don't know if you notice that or not. It's a, it's a minor thing, but whatever. It looks pretty cool. Like when you select the application, <clears throat> sorry, uh, the shadows get bolder. You know what I mean? So you can kind of see what's up front. When you click over here, it gets, you know, pushed back, I guess. That's pretty interesting. I like that a lot. So, anyways. Um, <laughs> There's no minimize button either, right? So just to maximize, you have this nice little smooth kind of like stretchy animation, I guess, like so. Uh, to minimize, you actually have to go down to the corresponding, uh, what do you call it, that icon or whatever. You know, minimize like that. And uh, yeah, Let me close this off. Let's see what else. It has Midori by default, um, you know, for your web browser. Uh, I installed uh, Chromium and it, it works just fine, but you know, for those of you who are wondering what does it come with, it comes with Midori. And it has a, uh, each application, like I guess their core elementary apps or whatever, they have this nice little, uh, like a spanner gear with your, uh, what do you call it, like your, uh, you know, preferences and stuff like that. Even the file manager has it, you know what I mean? And the music player noise also has it, you know what I mean? Um, other stuff that does not have it, maybe like, uh, on like shot will I guess might not have it there we go see has your traditional menus so eventually hopefully it'll, they'll uh, you know incorporate that whatever that is and you know what I mean with all the applications but anyways so anyways uh, the music player of course is noise um, in case you're wondering there is an applet the uh, you know right here like Ubuntu has so that does work and this music player works very well very snappy very quick as your album art and stuff like that. Close this off. Oh, another thing I need to show you too is to switch between applications. You know, just like uh, you know, your standard Alt Tab has a nice little smooth app, uh, animation. See what I mean? Even your minimized stuff, like this was minimized. Oops. Let me just go ahead and minimize that. Minimize. Alt tab, it'll bring it back up. It should bring it up. There it goes. But anyways, so what else can I show you guys? Um, 
Oh yeah, I did install some games and they run very, very well. Um, for those of you who are aware that the, uh, you know, the NVIDIA proprietary driver on uh, Unity uh, 1204, Ubuntu 1204 or whatever, uh, because of comp or whatever, um, OpenGL is kind of slow, you know what I mean? So some of the games run at a slower frame rate. Uh, here it's just fine, you know what I mean? It runs perfectly fine. So in case you guys are curious about that. Um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, Maya is like a desktop calendar kind of thing it's pretty cool um, real simple um, I can see myself using it but I haven't used it yet um, you know just you know add your dates or times or whatever locations you know what I mean uh, any type of event I guess and it should remind you close that off as an email client called Gary I did add one of my personal email clients I mean email client I'm sorry personal emails and um, I can't seem to close the account you know what I mean to get rid of it to put another one so I don't really want to show that one off just yet, but um, but yeah, that's it does work. So, anyways, what else can I show you guys? There's not really much to show you because the desktop is pretty pretty damn simple. You know what I mean? Um, oh yeah, switchboard is pretty cool. It's like your basic you know GNOME uh, system settings, I guess. Um, it does you know mess up as you can see all the icons are to the far left. Let me try sound. There it goes sound you click here get nice little animation going backwards see what I mean um, wallpapers real cool you know what I mean the way that kind of loads up so I kind of like what they're doing it's it's real slick you know what I mean real modern real uh, real uh, I don't know really how to explain it just it's really uh, polished so anyways I can really think of at the moment so uh I guess I'll be it for now. Like I said, it's still in beta or whatever. They're still working on it. So when it releases, they'll probably add a, little, a couple more little things here and there. But uh, so far, I'm digging it. Um, like when I when I look at this, it's like it's real clean, it's real simple, it's real nice. But it's kind of like if you use cinnamon, you can kind of get the same experience with that. You know, by putting the you know your your bar at the top and a dock at the bottom kind of a thing. But to me, this one's, it just basically just works, you know, out of the box. You know, you don't have to configure nothing. Just, uh, you know, install it and you're ready to go. In terms of the desktop, of course. So, you know. But anyways, I'm just rambling on. So, uh, I guess I'll just see you guys later.